Hey Kyle, thanks for asking Indie Hackers for some landing page feedback. Um, I love this idea, so let me read this uh, just from the headline. Let's see, beautiful API docs, uh huh, examples. Stripe is amazing. I agree. Design, uh huh. Yeah, it gives you an idea. Two months away. All right, let's do it. All right, clicking for the first time in my life. Beautiful branded API documentation. So like readme.io, similar style. It's, okay, first problem. The text here, it's way too dark. It should be a little bit lighter in terms of opacity or ra rather darker than your H1 but it should also not be as dark as this because this really helps reinforce what this is. So beautiful branded API documentation. Um, not sure about the cap capitalization of this but that's not a huge deal. Instantly generate low friction, easy to use API docs for your customers. See some examples below. You totally don't need this. Um, these are obviously examples. Or you could just have example, example, example. But preview is, is it's a synonym. So preview uh, shows me that this is an example. I like the usage of this weird dot pattern. It's very cool to, to look at. Now, let's have a look. Your API docs deserve better. Easily onboard developers with intuitive, low maintenance docs. Okay, so my question is how? How are they intuitive and low maintenance? And will they really help me on board? Public or private documentation. Create public facing docs or protect them with a password for signed in user. Spin up docs in a minute so it's fast. Or a link to your existing Swagger docs or Open API. Open API documentation. Swagger isn't a really a thing anymore, if I am correct. That's the old name, but that's just a small thing. It's your docs. Is, I'm saying this because you will notice that if people are in the Open API world, then uh, you will notice that they will really, really like cut you out on that one um anyways set it and forget it your api docs will automatically update focus on building your product not writing documentation auto sync perfect that's actually smart so i can import over and over okay so these are the three reasons why your api docs deserve better it automatically syncs I can import files, my open API specs, and there is a public or private switch. Now, right now, that is better than a lot of the competitors out there. As, as somebody who really cares about APIs, I'd like to see, okay, here we go. This is what I want to see, right? Um, I understand the, these, these three examples. But maybe you want to use this image a little bit further up um, to kind of give me an insight into what your actually product looks like. Now, is this beautiful? It's not. I'm not going to lie. It's, it looks extremely bare bones. But it has, if, it, if it has the features you, you mentioned, then I guess I would probably pay for it. You know, I don't know how much I would pay for it, but I would probably consider paying for it. We're launching soon. Join a priority list for information early access. That is probably giving me the impression that this is just a mock-up. This isn't a real thing. Uh, and that's why you're probably given this. Oh, there's a way too much white space in between this caption and the next part. Launching soon. 60 days. A nice little image that you've taken from a stock website. A little widget. Okay. Company, okay, none of this is clickable. I assume your website isn't ready yet. This is linked. Okay. So what would I do different? Um, 
I guess join the waitlist up here could deter people from like browsing the website because it kind of shows that you haven't launched it and therefore people would just say oh it's on a waitlist but then you have the preview buttons here which are by the way the same color you join the waitlist so you might want to differentiate the colors so that you have a little bit of uh, contrast between the fact that this is a preview and this is the join waitlist I would definitely tight tighten up the white space I would probably have some read more links below each one of these and I would send to a feature page that you could also link up here. I'm going to look at for example the zoom documentation page that you built because maybe I'm lying. So you did build actually something here. That's very interesting. Um, so my bad for assuming you hadn't. It does look very bare bone. Uh, there's no pricing so that's another thing to keep in mind. You didn't disclose the price. You didn't add any testimonial. There's no no one saying, yo, this is actually amazing. Is it interactive? I don't think so. Yeah, so there's a lot of competitors in this space. So finding a price point for something this basic seems a little bit, it's a little bit hard. I don't know what Doc Hub is. I'm not sure why you've lost your branding up here. But anyway, I think that's enough feedback for a landing page. Definitely work on um, making sure that you have enough page to go enough deep into the features. Make sure you differentiate the buttons here. And more importantly, dive deeper into the features down here. Give us a way to understand more. You know, developers are very, very, very picky and they really want to understand what's going on. Um, save time and delight your customers. Generate developer friendly API docs with Bulletin. The, the the fact that you should address in your in your h1 is the pain and the pain is that creating api documentation that is in sync is hard so if your one of your killer features is auto sync it should probably be you know beautiful always up to date branded api documentation so that could be a rewrite of your h1 um and then you know the rest makes sense. Also remember this uh, font here, the color rather. And then yeah, it's a bit light on content this page. There's not enough to go on, especially with the lack of pricing. But hey, hope this helps and good luck for sure.